Good morning, Tack Warehouse fans. Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. We're into November, weather's cooling off. Some of you might be sitting all day in the deer stand right now waiting for that whitetail rut to get into full swing. Uh, we got Thanksgiving coming up, which means our Black Friday sales right around the corner, so make sure you get prepared and don't miss out on that. Another thing that's going on this time of year, when the water st starts to cool down, there's a A-rig bite across the country, depending on where you're at, that gets red hot this time of year. It's kind of a shorter window, maybe it only lasts a couple weeks, but there's a good opportunity to catch a ton of fish on some A-rigs and some really big ones. So from Bailey Rigs, we got a couple new offerings from, from Bailey Rigs. If you're not familiar with Bailey Rigs, these are made by Paul Bailey himself. He's a guide up at Clear Lake and he builds these rigs HD and they're proven big fish catchers. So we have a couple new variations from the Bailey Rigs. We have a couple in his tournament legal series and now offered in a two hook model. So if you're in, you fish in an area or a state that has a two hook restriction, he's got you covered now. So we got him in a five blade, four blade, uh, five wires. So if you're in an area where you need, uh, you can only run two hooks, he's got you covered. And something that's a little bit bigger profile, one of our best sellers is his special rig. So there's a lot going on with this, uh, with this rig. There's a bunch of blades, a bunch of areas for teasers, but this one specifically set up for a two hook model. So like again, like I said, if you're in an area that has a lot of hook restrictions, you can only run two hooked baits like Arizona, this is gonna be the rig for you. Um, the, the Bailey rigs, like I said, they're built HD. The wires that are actually harnessing the hooked baits are a little bit thicker than the wires that have the teaser baits on them. These things are super robust. They're never gonna break. They're not gonna get beat up and bent and kind of out of tune like some of the, the cheaper rigs on the market. These are a more expensive rig when you're looking across the board, but they are built to last and they're able to hold up to a lot of big fish. So you can fish these things right out of the package. You don't need to mod them out or do anything. They're built HD and they're gonna last you a lot longer than some of the other rigs on the market. So check those out from Bailey Rigs. If you're looking for some heads for those Bailey Rigs, you know, this time of the year, um, a lot of the shad are a little bit smaller. Um, we got some new heads from Boss. These are actually the Boss Brent Ayler Gamagatsu swim bait jig heads. So these are really made to excel with the kind of your smaller, more finesse style swim baits or your soft plastic swim baits. Um, what's great about these is there's a bunch of different weight options and then there's also different hook options within each size. So like I have right here, I believe these are both 3 8 models and you can get it with a, you know, a smaller or a larger hook. So you can kind of match it up to how small or how big of a soft plastic you want to run. And the, the head detailing on these things is really nice, nice 3D eyes, little gill plate on there. And that the hook on the back, they're actually light wire Gamagatsu hooks. So really super, super sharp. And these are gonna be, again, good for those like smaller A-rigs when you want to run the little bit smaller baits. And then they're gonna be also great for those times where you wanna just throw like a single swim bait on a spinning rod. So you can get one of the little hook models and really tone it down if you want to. And then that keeper on there, it's a stack cone keeper. It holds plastics on there really well. But if you've ever used those real small, especially thin profile, soft uh, finesse style soft plastic swim baits, and you get those big giant barb keepers on there, they'll tear them up and split them and they don't hold on there very well. And it kind of bulges the body out and doesn't make them look natural. With these heads, you can run those thin body plastics and it's gonna look natural and sit on there just right and hold on really well uh, as well. All right, couple soft plastics for you here. We, this first one here is from Lunkerund. I'm actually pretty stoked to try this thing out. Um, this is their new VersaFish. And what's cool about it is it's gonna be a great trailer for a bunch of different rigs. So you can uh, throw this on a spinner bait. I'm a huge fan of putting soft plastic trailers on spinner baits. And with that diamond tail design on the back there, um, it's gonna kick and quiver and just get a little bit, of, it's gonna get a little bit of action, but it's not gonna kick as hard as a paddle tail soft, like a, like a paddle tail swim bait. So something's gonna look a little bit more natural, gonna be really good for cold water situations. And then another thing that's gonna excel at is of course on a vibrating jig. Sometimes when you get that hard kicking swim bait and a vibrating jig at the same time, the blade and the tail are kicking against each other. It doesn't look that great. A, t a tail that um, kind of a more streamlined tail design tends to work out a lot better. So new in there from Lunker Hunt. And then next up from Big Bite, a pretty unique soft plastic that I'm excited to try out as well, just because of all the different things you're gonna be able to do with it. This is her new quarantine crop. This is designed by Drew Cook. Um, he was designing this thing back when the pandemic started. That's where the name came from. 
and they finally got it to the market. And this is also in their Sensation line of soft plastics. So it's infused and loaded with scent, so you don't have to add any more scent to it. You're gonna get more bites, fish are gonna hold on longer, all the benefits of that Sensation plastic. With this bait, with the profile of it, there's so many different things you can do with it. You can just Texas rig this bait. It's gonna be really good on a shaky head because it kind of has about a three to four inch like soft stick bait style body on there. So you can rig it up on a shaky head. You can rig it up on a Ned rig. You can trim it down if you want. You can trim it down and put it, use it as a jig trailer. Uh, one of the things I would like to try with it is throw it on a Carolina rig because it's gonna, it's gonna hold the hook in there really, really well. And it's a really finesse style soft plastic. So, you know, real streamlined body nothing too crazy, and then it's gonna have those nice small kicking legs on there. So it's gonna have action, but it's not gonna be over the top, especially when the water starts to cool down. You don't wanna have too much action, uh, just something that's, that's gonna pique their interest and get them to bite. So a new one I'm excited to try out from, uh, from Big Bite Baits. If you're looking for something else you wanna rig it on, we got another one from Gamagatsu. We actually got a whole new series of stuff from Gamagatsu. This is a new Power Drop series. Uh, the one I got in my hand is with the Superline EWG hook. Uh, pretty much one of my all-time favorite hooks um, across the board. I use it for so much stuff. Um, that Superline EWG hook is, is good for Texas rigs. It's good for flipping, for Carolina rigs. You can rig up uh, top water toads with it. There's so the, the possibilities are endless. It's just a solid hook that does so many great things and just one you always want to have in your box. So they also make these power drops with a regular round offset round bend and with their new hybrid worm hook as well. So giving you a few different options to work with, and then you're working with that, uh, that wired leader on there. So this technique was made popular in Japan. It's come over to the United States. A bunch of other companies make these already. Now you have a premium offering from Gamagatsu. Uh, nice heavy duty swivel on there, or it's super, super strong, but it's actually really small and compact, solid welded ring, and then you get that small three and a half inch solid wire. So, very similar to a drop shot, but a little bit shorter. And with that heavy wire on there, you get a little bit different action. It helps keep your bait up off the bottom a little bit better than your standard, kind, your standard kind of drop shot. And then these things are really good for flipping into brush and uh, you know flipping into uh, you know lay downs and grass and all kinds of stuff like that. You can change out different styles of weights on the bottom, so you can put you know you could start experimenting with different worm weights. I uh, see guys do it with, uh, with Carolina rig weights and put clackers on there to get some noise out of it. So a bunch of different ways you can, cu you can customize this setup. Just a great way to fish. I've seen people also drag them out on deep river ledges and it gets that bait up out of the silt. Um, just a bunch of cool things you do with these, things, uh, with these style of rigs. Make sure to put a few of those in your box. All right, new rat here we got from Fish Lab. So. If you like throwing ploppers and you know those kind of topwaters that spit and spray a lot of water, this is going to be one you definitely want to throw in the box. So from Fish Lab, this is the B, this is the BBZ Bio Rat, a, a super large, you know, oversized topwater bait. It actually comes in two sizes. This is the bigger of the two. There's a seven and a half inch and a ten. And with this rat bait, uh, it's got two giant spinning t uh, feet on the back of it. So. When you watch the, the product video, we'll try to link some of the, the, the footage in there. When this thing, when you're reeling it fast and it's going across the surface, it is insane how much water it sprays. Not only are you getting the action of these two big spinning tails, but I think it's because the way that they're angled towards each other, it just makes a tremendous commotion. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with this rat as well. I mean, it's gonna sit perfectly horizontal on the surface. You can twitch it and it'll walk side to side. Uh, you can do short twitches and you can get it to spray and pop almost like a popper, but a lot oversized. And it's that big rat profile that we all know big bass love to eat. The rat baits have taken off over the last five years and just something that everyone needs to have in the box. Especially right now when you're, we're kind of during that time of the year where there's a, really, a pretty nice buzz bait bite before it gets really, really cold. This might be something you want to check out just to see if you can get a bigger bite. We got them in a bunch of different colors and it's got premium hardware on it right out of the box so you don't need to mess around with anything got bkk treble hooks on there so ready to fish don't need to upgrade anything comes with actually two more spare tails in the package as well so if you get some fish that are short biting or you get something that just tears it up you got tails in the package you don't have to buy new ones uh right away they already come with a couple if you're looking for something maybe you want need somewhere to put that thing we got a new box 
from Lakewood. So this is Lakewood swim bait hanging box. This is actually the smaller of the two models. So I believe it's 12 by 12 by 12. And then we have a, another model that's a little bit wider. I believe it's 18 or 19 inches wide. But really cool box for hanging your swim baits in. If you've ever, if you've gotten into big swim baits, they are one of those things that is kind of a pain to store. You don't want to take your, your nice soft plastic, you know, like your huddle stands or, uh, you know, baits like that, ospreys, and lay them down in a box because the tails get kinked and they don't swim right. Or, you know, your big expensive glide baits, you know, like a Depths 250. It has that soft plastic shell around the outside. And if you lay it in the box, you know, it'll bend the tails or even the glide baits with the soft tails. If you bend those tails, then they don't glide perfect um, every time. So you want to keep them hanging and stored in that fashion so you don't, you don't mess up your expensive swim bait. So this is a more expensive of a box, but it's made to built to last and it's built heavy duty to protect those, those super expensive baits. So on the inside, they have these little rods that actually have the hook hangers on them. So it's just, it's pretty easy to just slide those baits on there. If I can get the split ring through there and you can hang all your baits in there and keep them nice and organized. And then with the divider system in there, you're not going to have problems with, uh, with the baits um, flopping around and tangling up with each other. If you're like me, um, you know, there wasn't very many options on the market for us for a long time. I've actually built a custom, a couple of custom swim bait hanging boxes out of those plastic, uh, you know, little filing cabinets. And when you're traveling around, you know, all the tails of those soft plastics start banging around and the trailer hooks stab into the other baits and you end up with a whole bunch of mess and you got to lift the lid up and you got 20 baits hanging from there. You're trying to reach in there and get them out. This is a much better option to keep everything organized and more efficient and not, much, uh, not as much of a pain to take baits in and out. Another cool thing it comes, it comes with this little stick. So when you drop something down in there, you can kind of fish it out. Just something cool I would have never thought about. Um, there, there's some additional storage on the outside as well. These will actually fit 3,600 size boxes um, on, on the outside. So you can put some accessories and extra hooks and kind of all that you know, extra tails and stuff like that you want, you'd want to have with you with your swim bait box. There's some pouches in the front. You can throw your pliers and stuff in there. And like I said, this thing is built HD. We have a pretty cool product video on the page of Mike Buka talking about this thing and kind of the, the input that he had on the different rod systems and how he wanted it laid out to kind of better suit bass fishermen. And he stands on top of this thing and jumps on it and it, do, it does not break. So it is built to last in a heavy duty box and a great option. For anyone who does a lot of swim bait fishing, has a lot of expensive swim baits laying around. All right, last up, we got one from Sunline. This is a new Sunline Saltimate Nylon Shock Leader uh, Monofilament Leader Material. So really cool nylon mono that is actually, it's a top seller in Japan for saltwater anglers and we just got it in uh, here at Tackle Warehouse. I'm actually super stoked about this because me and another guy, we're actually buying this stuff directly from Sunline and now we don't have to get orders together for 75 bucks or more to get free shipping on it. Um, so it's a small spool of, of monofilament shock leader. So if, if you're throwing big swim baits or, or maybe big top waters and you need a little, if you want a small shock leader on the end of it, it's gonna be great for that. I believe we have it from 30 to 60 pound. They, um, and another thing you can do with it is, uh, if you're a saltwater angler, of course it's, the salt, it's part of their saltimate system you can put on a top shot on top of your braid. That's what we were using it for. Um, you know, fly line and sardines on 30, 40 pound line. And with this line, if you check out the diameters of it, uh, this mono is a little bit thinner in diameter than all the other monos on the market. So it felt like it was helping us get a few extra bites when everyone's fishing 30 pound, but your 30 pound is a little bit more stealth. And this monofilament is the most premium mono that, uh, that Sunline makes. It's incredible monofilament. It's super soft. It hardly ha it doesn't really have any memory in it. Um, it when you when you take it out and you feel it, um, you know the texture of it. You could tell it's a really really good monofilament. Just something awesome if you if you need a shock leader or you're a saltwater fisherman and you do a lot of top shots of monofilament. Sunline's got you covered. It's got that nice band on there. So when you're taking the leader off, it doesn't get away from you, and you know come uncoiled and you don't have to mess with the little stickers and losing them. And you know especially we got wet hands. Uh, that band is a nice management tool. For your line right there. That's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New Attack or Us. For more information or to purchase anything seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.